Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers beyond the bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for the sip. I'm Caitlin Monty behind the bar at Rain's Law Room with Camille Austin, who's going to shake and stir us through this week's featured cocktail. Camille, what are we mixing up? The Picocito. And we're using two relatively related but unique spirits in this one. Without one, there would not be the other. So we start with one ounce of Milagro Blanco. It's a very agave forward tequila. Tequila, in essence, is a mezcal. Mezcal, it's very handcrafted still. Absolutely, it's still made on a very small scale. Half an ounce of Montalobos. This part will add a really beautiful savory element. Which comes from the roasting. Absolutely, in a pit oven, slow cooked, and then tequila is cooked for a little bit less time and it's typically steamed in a brick oven. So it creates two different flavor profiles, but they play very nicely. Yes. Half an ounce of agave nectar, fresh citrus, an ounce and a half of fresh squeezed pineapple juice. And this in Spanish is actually called a piña, which is the same name for the agave once it's going to be cooked in tequila and mezcal. Piña, pico, I love it. Yes. Add ice to our shaker and give it a really hard shake. We're fine straining this to get out all of those little bits of ice on top. Add a little bit of black pepper. This gives a beautiful color and you have your picocito. The sweet came out first, but very quickly the smoky was behind it. It's really smooth. And I love that the different tropical notes come out, but the smokiness gives it something hearty about this. It's almost warm. For more on the Picocito, Milagro, and the Montalobos, visit CelebrityTasteMakers.com. Plus, you'll find events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar. Until next time, I'm Caitlin Monti, and here's to you from The Sit.